welcome to my channel. And for those of you that are new here, my name is Dolores. I'll put it up on the screen. And I'm better known as the Baking Diva. Well, today I'm going to make for you a savory dish. Oh yeah, it is so yummy, really. Better than takeout from the Chinese restaurant. And the sauce on this is so delicious. I Trust me, your family will be asking for more. And this dish is so good that if you have any leftover, you can have it the next day. You could put it in a rice bowl. I mean, let me think, what else can you do? Uh, you can add it to stir fry, whatever your little heart desires. And it's delicious. So, what do you say we get going? Let's get started. The first thing you need is a slow cooker because this is a slow cooker recipe. And um, that's what I love about it, that you can put it in your slow cooker high for maybe two or three hours. You can put it on low for four or five hours and that's it. Now, you will need four boneless, skinless chicken breasts. The recipe calls for three or four, but I'm gonna do it with four. I think that's better. Um, so I have four beautiful boneless, skinless chicken breasts here. And on my cutting board, I'm going to cut these chicken breast ups. <laughs> I'm going to cut up these chicken breasts in small little square pieces. So very easy to do. Um, all you need is a sharp knife and your hand. My hands are clean. So you want to do them, I would say, maybe pieces like this. So what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to cut up these boneless chicken breasts in little pieces and then I'll be back and I'll show you what we do next so don't go away. Now as you can see I cut up the four boneless chicken breasts into cubes. Okay after I have all the chicken cutlets uh, cut into cubes you're going to need a Ziploc bag and you're also going to need some cornstarch. Two tablespoons of cornstarch we're going to put in this Ziploc bag. So let me do that for you now. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is put my chicken into this Ziploc bag and give it a shake use gloves if you want but my hands are clean that's what God gave them to me for to use so let's put these in here okay and then we're going to shake it because we want to coat up our chicken with the cornstarch so let me do that now close the bag here and shake it shake it shake it shake it shake it shake it Trust me, you know how easy this is to make. I love slow cooker meals. You just turn it on and you walk away. And when you come back, oh, it's so good. So see how nice that coated the chicken with the cornstarch? So now I'm gonna head over to the stove. I have a frying pan there with a couple of tablespoons of vegetable oil. So come on over with me and I'll show you what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm over at the stove now and I've heated up my two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Now into the vegetable oil I am going to put my chicken that I coated with the cornstarch. So let me place that in there. Now what we want is we want this chicken to get lightly browned on the sides. It does not have to be fully cooked because it's going to cook in your slow cooker. It's very important that you do not overcook your chicken in this frying pan because you don't want your chicken to be cooked all the way through. Otherwise, you'll put it in your slow cooker and it'll cook twice and it'll be tough and hard. Okay. 
Let's get it in there. Okay. And like I said, don't worry about it getting fully cooked. It doesn't need to. It just needs to get lightly browned and the cornstarch will help it do that. I do so many sweet recipes for you that I thought once in a while I like to throw in a savory one. All right. I'll give that a couple of minutes and then I'll turn it over. You hear that sizzling? Mm-mm. Now after I get this chicken lightly browned on the sides, I'm going to put it into my slow cooker. Give it a little turn. Give it a little turn. Mm-hmm. Making this for dinner tonight. It's gonna be so, so yummy. Mm. And I love making it like this because you have all white meat chunks. You know, sometimes in the restaurants you don't get that. They have it mixed in with some uh, yucky dark meat that I don't like. So this is the bomb. Few little turns. It's going to start to get a little brown. Oh, yeah. This is how you like it. Don't let it get real brown because otherwise the chicken will be cooked. And like I said earlier, you'll double cook it and it will be too tough for you and overcooked. So I'm going to go over to the uh, island now and we're going to put this chicken in the slow cooker. Okay, here's the brown chicken. I'm going to put this into my slow cooker. Mmm, smells delicious. Okay, so now I have a nice bowl and I'm going to put my mixture in here that we are going to pour over that delicious chicken. So, first of all we need one teaspoon of, let me get it over here, rice vinegar. So that's one teaspoon. Get my measuring spoons out here, my magnetic measuring spoon. So here's a teaspoon. Put that in. Okay. Next we're going to need two tablespoons of soy sauce. of sesame oil. This lasts you a long time. It was a little bit pricey, but trust me, it'll last you forever. So that's um, a half a teaspoon. Let me find that. Half a teaspoon of sesame oil. of a cup of orange marmalade. Now I happen to be using Smucker's Sweet Orange Marmalade. You can use any orange marmalade that you like because this is orange chicken, right? Alrighty. We need three tablespoons of brown sugar. Here's one, two, three. And what else? 
else do we need? A half a teaspoon of salt. Cameraman, can you hand me that salt over there? We need a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to um, eyeball that. That looks about right. And a pinch of pepper. Uh, I think that looks like about a pinch. Sure. Now I'm going to take my handy dandy whisk and I'm going to mix all of this sauce together. Mmm. Mmm. You have the sweet orange marmalade and then you have the soy sauce. Oh, it smells delicious. So once I get this all mixed, I'm gonna pour it over the chicken. I'll give the pot a little stir. Now you can either put it on um, low for four or five hours, or you can put it on high for two or three hours. It's late now, so I'm gonna put mine on high. It'll be done in time for dinner. All righty, that looks good. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this right over my chicken. Mmm, yummy. Looks good. Don't wanna lose any of that. Mmm. Okay, so now I'm going to put the lid on my slow cooker. Turn it on to slow cook. I happen to be using a Ninja. I've had this for a long time. I love it. Um, I'm going to put it on high and then I'm going to put it on, hmm, says two or three hours. Maybe I'll put it on two and a half and I'll check it. So let me put that on. Here we go. And then I'll be back when it's done. We'll do a taste testing. We'll serve it over maybe some nice rice and I'll let you know what I think. So come on back. Okay, well, the orange chicken just finished cooking in the crock pot. I did wow. it on um, high, said for two or three hours, but I found that mine cooked in about mm, maybe two, between two and two and a half hours. So you just have to check it. I'm gonna put in a picture for you now so you can see what this looks like. My goodness, it looks like a masterpiece. I have broccoli around it, and I put two little pieces of orange in there, just for effect and presentation. I'm all about presentation, but you can serve it any way you want. So let me take a little taste of this. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit that little bell down below and that's it. You won't miss my next recipe that I have coming up. So let me give this baby a taste. Mmm, look at this. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Mmm. Very good. Get a little rice in there. Mmm, good. Now, you might want to check it at the two hour point because depending on how long you cook it and brown it in your frying pan, it might be partially cooked and you don't want it to overcook in the crock pot. But it is delicious. So, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. We're going to have dinner now. Um, I'll put the recipe down below for you in the more box um, in case you want to make it. So, thank you all for taking time out of your schedule to watch me make this orange chicken. I really appreciate it. I love each and every one of you. And don't forget to come back and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. So, I will see you all very soon. Going to finish my orange chicken now. Toodles.